Hey guys, I'm back with a very short tutorial. Uh, I want to show you how you could um, customize your material editor slot preview here, or whatever it's called. I don't know. It's called something. Uh, and this is kind of the default. We have this ugly ass checker with uh, some weird colors. And uh, it just doesn't look that good compared to um, Cinema 4D or I believe Octane Render have uh, kind of a nice preview as well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's some use for um, having kind of a ugly checker like this for uh, refractions or whatever so you can... I don't know honestly, but I just know that it's not close to anywhere near how I would render something. I would never have a HRI, for example, with a checker like this. So um, what we're gonna do is customize this. I'm just gonna show you quickly. You can download uh, the two files that you need um, on my site. So if you don't wanna do it yourself, you can just download it. What you will need to do is uh, change the, uh, add your own HRI. I will leave a link to the HDRI that I'm using so you can download it uh, but anyways we can first of all we can give it a in the option we have a custom background so if we apply that this is how it's gonna look with my um, with my background that I did so as you can see uh, I've added some uh, just contact shadow and um, it's not, not, nothing special really uh, it just looks a lot nicer but it will use this shaker box as uh, a reflectance as you can see um, in the reflection here it's gonna be reflecting uh, this um, gray white shader so what you can do uh, next is create your own custom object and uh, your own lights to it and then it's gonna look something like this I'm just gonna add it into these and this is now how it's gonna look so it's gonna use the lighting that I chose and the HDRI and as you can see I'm using a uh, I've just grayscaled the HDRI because I don't want to have in any colors and I think that's the best way of doing it I don't wanna I don't want the preview to have a bunch of colors um, and I've also tried to kind of match the the light setup that uh, we have at default so if we look at this and um, let's see this is kind of the default lighting it is using my checker though but so we can see this so I kind of try to match it somewhat it's not completely matched but uh, still I mean you could use just an HDRI if you want to you can tweak the lighting as as you wish um, but it's really simple and I think it uh, looks uh, great so if you don't want to download my uh, my custom object scene uh, what you need to do is you just add your object in my case I add a sphere I also you have to center it in the so just right click on these so it's all centered and let's just move these for a while in the top you want to add a camera let's add a target like so now we have a camera okay press C to get into the camera view I also added some extra subdivision so it's all round and nice you don't have to care about the material what we do need to care about is the lighting so I first added a V-Ray dome light place it somewhere no not really like so I have it to one I believe I only did like reflection, I think, or maybe specular as well. Uh, and I just added in my HDRI light uh, that I will be giving you guys a link to. 
so you can just add it in there I also check this spherical full doom, dome otherwise it's just gonna be half it's gonna look kinda weird and then I I just added a couple of standard lights like a target direct something like so we don't have to care about the shadows I believe uh, and just uh, let's see what did I do no never learn you know I did something like this and just place them out now you can go crazy with this if you wish I just try I, I just try to match the original uh, kind of have a lot something like this maybe like a um, lower intensity there and then I added a rim light as well I added a just a V-ray plane I don't know what I did something like this I think Oops. something like this and just play with the values until you get it somewhat now if you look at my scene you're gonna see that the the sphere is like it's like this or whatever. I <clears throat> I just had to do that. You have to kind of uh, try different sizes to to get it to look correctly in your um, material editor. When I had it like this, it was really small. So just play with that. But I recommend you to just download my files and you can tweak it from there maybe make the lighting better um, and also important thing is to have mapping cords okay now I just I actually added just a spherical but I think it's kind of the same I probably don't have to do that but I added it anyways it's like a spherical otherwise um, if you're gonna add uh, textures and stuff it's probably not gonna look correct in here so so that's pretty much it it's a quick one but get to my site tinea.co and uh, just download it and uh, maybe i didn't show you option just add it here you add uh, the, the the max file if you want to do it yourself you just uh, save this out somewhere and pick it and also check the load camera and light and uh, you can also download the the background that I have on my site as well so you're pretty much good to go yeah that's pretty much it so uh, see you in my next tutorial whenever that be bye bye